Hello everyone, welcome to Montserrat Contemporary Art. We're going to be here until the 30th, so everyone is welcome to join and come enjoy the exhibition. My name is Lady Ben Cosme and this is my work. I come, I'm originally from the Dominican Republic. I was born and raised over there and I came here 10 years ago. And in that process of time, you can see the tropical in my background and my paintings. Uh, I, I'm a self-taught artist. Uh, I enjoy painting. It's part of who I am. Um, I learn through failing and learning how to use every media. I work on every, anything. I will try it on. And on time, I develop a little bit of a some escape from reality type of feeling. When I try to paint something, I want people to go where I wish I could go. I want people to feel what I was feeling. And to me, um, like this artwork, it was more having control and a process that I didn't know where it was going to lead me. I don't know how my paintings are going to, going to turn out to be. But when I see the final product, I feel accomplished. And even though art is something that everybody has their own way to express it, for me personally, it will be a way to let other people know what I have inside of me, what is in my heart. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Mi nombre es Máximo Ortiz, uh, bienvenido a la Galería de Montserrat, um, a, este, a esta colectiva de diferentes artistas, diferentes estilos. En esta ocasión estoy presentando tres obras del lugar donde estudié, que me apasionó mucho. Eh, me gusta mucho eh, trabajar con el contraste de la luz y la sombra, y la intensidad de los colores en los paisajes. Aunque realmente mi estilo es más expresionista porque me gusta expresar mis sentimientos y mis pensamientos en mi pintura. En esta ocasión le presento estos paisajes a petición de alguna parte de mi público que me pide presentar cosas bonitas como esta eh, en el estilo de, de paisaje figurativo. Eh, me gusta eh, por el contraste de la luz y la sombra y la intensidad de los colores pero um, en esta ocasión eh, no estoy expresando eh, nada de sentimiento por la naturaleza ni la persona sino más bien eh, la intensidad de los colores, la luz y la sombra, eh, trabajado en el óleo. Hi, uh, my name is Pauline Walsh. Um, I'd like to invite you all to this show. It's a beautiful show. Um, and it goes on till the end of the 30th of December. So it's on for a while. Um, just to give you a little idea of my work, um, I'm a Jungian analyst. I'm self-taught. Um, so my Paintings always have something to do with the animus and the anima, 
which is the feminine and the masculine in the world and how they get along or don't get along. And my paintings don't have much space because I believe that things are always in motion and the minute there's space, something moves into it. I'm always trying to capture um, the child that I knew um, and try to um, come to terms with the child in the adult world. And sometimes I can do it and sometimes I can't and I think my paintings reflect that when I'm successful with becoming the adult and when I'm not. Uh, but the child is always there. Um, well, you can see they're kind of colorful and fanciful and dreamlike and they're all the parts of me that I try to put together and to try to show that everything in the world belongs. Nothing's left out. Thank you so much. Um, Buenas, mi nombre es Humberto Guanipa. Estamos aquí en Montserrat Contemporáneo Art y les invito a que venga a mi exposición, una exposición de varios artistas y va a estar abierta desde el 17 de diciembre hasta el 30 de diciembre. Cordialmente les invito a que vengan, por favor. Este trabajo está hecho de madera, metal y acrílico y fue una idea de un viaje que hice a Israel y vi una ruina de Masala, una ciudad que existió hace más de 2.500 años cuando Herodes. Good evening, I'm Bill Thompson and I'm here to represent Sophia Zinman Wong, uh, the artist behind me. Sophia's work is inspired by love. It's all about love, the choices, the dilemmas, uh, and the consequences of it. Uh, it's a subject that she uh, studies deeply and can wax eloquent on the lot. Her, her paintings favor the bright colors of the Yunnan uh, School where she was educated, Yunnan University in Art and Design where she also teaches, very much a global citizen and inspired by global uh, travel. Uh, she's also uh, taught and, uh, and studied at the New York Academy of Art back in 2014. She'd love to be with us today, but has to be in Kumi. Sophia's work is all about love. This is from her Drowning in Love uh, series. And uh, it's, it's, it's part of her, uh, her work about women and the choices that women have to make, and especially uh, with regard to love and marriage. Hi, I'm Grant McGrath and uh, welcome to Montserrat Contemporary Art. Um, 
showing four pieces here today. Um, we have, here we have uh, all the feels, uh, which is charcoal and acrylic. Um, these two are both kind of done in a more raw from the gut fashion, meaning there's very little planning that kind of went into it. It was more just kind of processing whatever kind of I was happening emotionally, and that is kind of the output for these two. Actually, these as well, um, we have porcelain over here and ember over here. Um, they're both in a series called Moments, which are more about intimacy. Um, they're both very, I would say, personal, uh, reflective pieces, um, doing a lot with emotion and intimacy from relationships, love, and all that. Um, come by and see the show December 15th through the 30th.